Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Conservative commentator and comedian Steven Crowder was punished by YouTube yesterday. His channel was completely demonetized because Crowder made fun of a gay Latino leftist who works for Vox. You can see it here. Little queer could eat his chips all nonchalantly. It's code for rape, Mr. <laughs> queer eating chips on the Vox channel. Mm -hmm. Chip, 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 but you can eat just one. Like <laughs> this is what Mr. Gay Vox wants to do. Mr. Lispy queer from Vox. And yeah, I don't think what Crowder said was nice. I wouldn't make fun of somebody like that. But is that the standard? Is YouTube going to ban you or demonetize you if you hurt somebody's feelings or if you say something insulting? YouTube actually admitted Steven Crowder did not violate their hate speech policy that's in their terms of service. They just said Crowder's speech was insulting. Okay, well, if that's the standard, YouTube, how about you demonetize Samantha B for calling Ivanka Trump a feckless C word? How about you demonetize Stephen Colbert for calling President Trump a sea holster for Vladimir Putin? How about you demonetize Colbert for his video last month suggesting that NRA spokeswoman Dana Lash be shot? How about you demonetize Snoop Dogg for his video assassinating President Trump? Or Eminem for screaming F Trump? Or every rap video that I can think of that denigrates women as the B word and gay people with homophobic slurs? How about you demonetize the Young Turks for calling me a Barbie, mocking my appearance and telling me to get back into the kitchen and make sandwiches because I'm a woman? Isn't that insulting? Aren't all of these videos, hate speech and promotion of violence or hatred against people or insulting speech against another person? How about Vox's own Carlos Maza, the ringleader of this radical leftist rage mob himself, for actively, literally promoting violence against conservatives when he told people to milkshake them all, or when he engaged in insulting speech by calling religious people insane, loathsome bigots. Why is Steven Crowder punished for insulting speech and these people not? Aren't those the standards you're applying to Crowder? If you hurt somebody's feelings, then you're canceled. Let me read you YouTube's terms of service on hate speech. hate speech. It says, hate speech is not allowed on YouTube. We remove content promoting violence or hatred against individuals or groups based on any of the following attributes, age, caste, disability, ethnicity, gender identity, nationality, race, immigration status, religion, sex, gender, sexual orientation, victims of a major violent event and their kin, veteran status. But apparently, hate speech, promotion of violence or hatred, or insulting speech is totally fine if the promotion of violence and hate is hurled at conservatives. Whatever happened to the old classical liberal philosophy on free speech? I may disapprove of what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. Now, We've got rage mobs on the left and YouTube who dictate that if I disapprove of what you say, I will destroy your career, stifle your speech, and use corporate and political power to silence you. But only if you're conservative. And that's my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you like the show, please send me an email at oann.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night.